Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to talk to you about one of the reasons why I really like Pinball Deluxe Reloaded. Um, I think it's a great game because of many factors, but one of them is that some of the tables have alternate skins, basically like reskins. And if you look here, uh, you have the original Carnival, and then we can click here and we have Thrill Park. Uh, not all the tables have them, but there's quite a few that I still have to unlock. Uh, Bricks has one. Sp uh, Space Frontier has one called Mars. Um, this one I just purchased, Desperados. And if you look at them, they're all pretty like... It looks almost like a different table, um, which is pretty cool because... It keeps the um, you know the design the same. Uh, Carnival and Thrill Park are even kind of similar, but uh, having like you know a different you know colors and objects on the play field just adds a new experience. So we're gonna play Thrill Park in this video. It's one of my favorite tables um, when I first started playing. Um, Pinball Deluxe Reloaded. It's the first table I, I, I played. The reason why I really like this game is you have these perks which you can customize and upgrade. So for example this one here, Bumper Cars. Hit five bumpers in one second and you score 55,000 points. That's a lot. Um, so and then you can you can remove and add as many as you like but a lot of them you have to purchase. So this one I don't even have purchased. But you can use these tickets just by playing the game and uh, so that's another reason why I like this game is because it has a lot of, I call it a soft grind because it's not really a grind in the sense that um, it's not really a grind in the sense that you feel like oh man this is not enjoyable anymore but it's kind of like well you're already playing so why not um, you know get a reward so let's let's give this a go here I'm just checking something out before I uh, play this I wanna see okay so this is okay so let's go here also the cool thing here is you have a powerball which you can uh, you use tokens to pay for I mean tickets and it you score doubles so I like that too but check this out it almost really feels like a new table like I, I think that's one of the things and there's a ticket that you can you can get to use later on if you want but I kinda thought about the idea of I think this is the only game that I can think of that actually has like, you know, reskins for tables. I mean, on a digital game. Of course, you have like VPX, which is where you have original like reskins. But I'm just talking purely from like a like a standalone um, digital game like this. So I recently also, um, I got to, uh, I beat my previous high score of about 14 million. So that was pretty cool. Oh man. Another thing that this game does pretty good is that they have daily events um, where you can they have like a, a table with a certain like um, theme whether it's like five you know like a time challenge or like one ball and you know by playing that you can earn tickets um, but it's 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 really cool to 
because it encourages people to come back and play more. Just like kind of like Pinball FX has that as well, you know, with... I don't know if they have daily events, but they have weekly events. So it's kind of similar. Not to mention, this uh, game also has... Just like... Uh, well, actually, Pinball FX doesn't have rank mode. I don't know if they're going to bring that back. But FX3 had the rank mode, and I think I played a little bit of it on here, on Relo Reloaded, and it kind of plays similar to... But yeah, I mean, if you... Like, these reskins, I'm not sure when... They were released. I know they had them for a while. I just never bothered to uh, grind for them. Um, for whatever reason, but... I'm really glad I did, because... You know, look, the... Um, it just feels like a new table, even though it's the same. Oh, come on. I'm hoping that Pinball Deluxe Reloaded releases more DLC. I mean, the last DLC they released was, uh, fr no, it was called Rides, right? And that table is not bad, but it's not one of my favorites. Actually, you know, what this game really reminds me of, it's like, it reminds me a lot of, like, the older 2D uh, digital pinball tables like uh, Balls of Steel, but almost like way better physics, because, you know, the uh, games like Balls of Steel, their physics were kind of awkward. This one is actually really kind of really kind of good compared to balls of balls of steel. And see, they have different things that uh, you can, you can get tickets. So I'm just gonna go one more time here because I have I have uh, uploaded videos for other table skins and I, I will be doing the rest see I had the ball save perk I have that I think upgraded pretty far if not complete so if I didn't have that ball save perk it would have been a drain wow and it drained anyways ball save I think they even added some different sound effects as well. So not only did they change the uh, artwork and like the models around the table, but even some of the uh, sound effects are different. So I like that. Oh, come on. I think I, one thing I learned about this table um, is if you do a soft plunge, you can actually um, when you do a soft plunge, you can get into the rollovers a lot easier. And if you can get complete the rollovers, you can get a bonus multiplier. And it the bonus multiplier also counts. Uh, so if you have two x bonus multiplier, it is I believe. 2x everything on the play field. I could 
could be wrong on that, but I remember that being a thing on here. Also, I think a lot of people forget that this these tables have little mini games, which are some of them are quite fun. Like this this one, I think I don't know if it's theme specific, but on this one there was a like a motorcycle like uh, video mode. And on the original one it's like a it's a car one. Where you're trying to avoid trucks. So yeah, I'm I'm curious to know what you guys think. If you guys like the original or um for these newer ones. You can always switch them back. But uh, like I say, there's a lot of them. Even Treasure Hunter has one called Atlantis. The apparatus has another called Puzzle. I just recently unlocked Galactic Trading. I don't think Rides has one. Yeah, Rides doesn't. Well, guys, thank you for watching me play a Thrill Park, uh, the reskin for Carnival. Um, there are 100 tickets, so you do have to do a little bit of a grind. Um, but I think it's worth it. So thank you guys for watching me play Throw Park on Pimmel Deluxe Reloaded. Hope you enjoyed. I'd like to know what you think about these uh, reskins. Till next time, catch you guys later. Take care.